Well, hello everyone, MetalBlade427 here, and I welcome you back to the wonderful world of Pokemon Snap! In the last episode, we went through the tunnel several times and the beach several times in order to be able to get a whole bunch of different Pokemon uh, pictures and be able to open up new paths and get new items. Specifically, a new path to the volcano, the fire area to the game. So, of course, we're going to be going in here and seeing all different types of fire based. Pokemon. Now we're going to be going through the volcano a few times right now. We will open up another level at the end of it, but I kind of want to do as much as I can in one area before moving on to the next area. And I probably shouldn't, didn't need to go back to the beach again, but I kind of wanted to just get it out of the way, especially after I got the apple. I wanted to show you guys some stuff that was really cool there. Um, if I play my points right, I should get a new item, either the first time through the volcano or the second time through the volcano and this next item that I get is probably the most useful one in the game. Uh, you can't do everything with it but you can do a whole lot more than with the little apple shaped food because it's not really an apple now. Alright, so why don't we jump on in and see. The boiling magma here makes this place very hot. I'm sweating already. I guess there's like a climate control thing inside of the Zero One ship. So, in we go, and let's go. Yes. Up to the volcano. Nice little area right here. First thing we're going to notice as soon as we begin, Rapidash! Take pictures, take pictures. Now, there's something I could have done there in order to get a little bit better of a picture, but, uh, I, I kind of forgot that I was able to do that, so I had to like really shoot uh, as much as I could. Uh, we also have a Vulpix over here, and this one little Vulpix over here isn't so bad. You can take some few pictures of it, but really, once you come up and around the corner, you have two, <laughs> two Vulpixes. So if you get them both together, you can get them all nice and happy. Uh, be nice if they actually face me. All right, there we go. Much better. Come on, guys, do do something cuter. Uh, that works. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be coming back and forth through here a little bit, so I'm not really too worried about uh, getting the right picture the first time, though I do want to get as many pictures as I can uh, of as many Pokemon as I can. So now we have up here a Magmar and a Charmander. You kind of want to bring them together and have... Come on. Come on, guys. Do your thing. Do your thing. There you go. Oh, look at that! The Magmar is blasting the Charmander, and he evolved into a Charmeleon. I think that's a specialty shot, uh, at least from what I can remember. Uh, we have right here an egg with some fire on it. We may notice this from the, the tunnel we were in, and we had this one egg that had electric on it, now it's from fire. We also notice that we have stopped. There are certain Pokemon and certain things that you can do in the game in order to block your path, so this way you can stop and take better pictures. In fact, you can actually do something really cool here with the Charmanders. But I've been sitting long enough, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw an apple at this egg to knock it into the lava, and from the lava rises the mighty Moltres. Get a nice shot. There we go, that's what you need to do. You wanna wait until it screeches and then throws off all of uh, the, uh, the Emperor. This is a good shot to get of these two Magmar. That's actually a specialty shot as well. Fighting Magmar, I believe it's called. Uh, and then there is more that I can do with the Charmander, but I'm going to do that on the next run through. These little bubble tubes uh, of Lava here, we can't do anything with the food, but we do have another Charmeleon wandering itself around this pit. We can take some good shots of it, but what you really want to do is you want to hit this Charmeleon with an apple. Because by doing that, my little bastard, good. Yeah, knocks it. No. Oh, whatever. Shot. No, get back here. No. Swing back around. Run, 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 run. There we go. Knocks it into the pit, and from the pit rises, Charizard. And if I'm fast enough here, I can actually get a few shots of this thing while it does flamethrower. There we go. That was the point. You throw a few apples at the Charizard, and you get him to do Flamethrower, and then that, of course, gets you more points because he's doing something more interesting. So, 34 pitches taken. Let's see, what do we got here? We got... That's actually a really nice picture, Rapidash. Wow, I thought that 
that wasn't gonna come out as well. Dang, all right, so we're taking that one 100%. I wish Ponyta was in here, but you know, we get the evolved form at the same road. I can't wish that Ninetales was in here, but no, we just get the Vul the Vulpi, the Vul Vul Vulpii, whatever. Uh, good. More reason why this game needs a sequel. If anything, just put the original 151. That's still only a fraction of what's in here compared to uh, everything else. These are all the Magmars. I'd rather have the, uh, yes, we're gonna use this one. It looks, this picture looks really messed up. Like the two Magmar are with each other and everything. And you may not think it's gonna be worth a lot of points, but I'm pretty sure because of the specialty, um, the special points that I get for it, it's gonna be worth a lot. At least it helps out. If not, try again next run. Um, what's that? What we got? Oh, Charmander. Aww, he's so far over dead. Well, Professor Oak does like the dead Pokemon, so we're gonna choose this one right in the middle of the evolution. And here we go. We got the Moltres in the sky screeching and knocking off the Ember. That should actually be a pretty good amount of points. And just like the Butterfree, by the way, you see the little black lines underneath the uh, the wings. That's not supposed to be there, but what can you do? Uh, what else do we got? We have Charmeleon. Anything good? He's really close, but he's like out of frame. Dang. Um... I'm gonna take the close out of frame one to see how that stacks up. And then, of course, Charizard. I like that one. That's a good one. The flame is like falling down to the side. There's actually one where you can get it almost like facing right at you, but you gotta knock Charmeleon into the pit pretty quickly, and that gives you the most amount of time to get the best pictures you possibly can of him. So, um, is that everybody? That looks like it, everybody. All right, Oak, judge me. Judge me hard. All right. Rapid dash, let's see. Uh, size, yes, awesome, that is great. That is the best I could possibly do uh, for size, but not the best I can do for pose. It's actually something that I can do otherwise, which I'm going to do when we go back into the volcano after I'm done here. So Rapid Dash is right in the middle, very nice, so times two, that's, a, that's actually a pretty decent score for Rapid Dash. I may just keep that picture in general. Um, there's another Rapid Dash in that picture, where? Where the hell do you see it? Man, I hope you have better eyes than I do, that's for sure, but. I'll take it. Very good. Two Vulpixes. This is says Vulpixes. Oh come on! They're like right next to the camera. How the hell do you say that's not a good size? He looks happy though, which is nice because that's what um, giving them the food will actually make them do happy dances. They'll jump in the air. They'll do flips. They'll do all kinds of really funny uh, things for you as long as you throw food in their general direction. Of course, he's right in the middle, so we get times two, and there's another Volpix in the picture, so we get 509. That's a random number, but okay, that's fine by me. You notice none of the none of the points, all the points end in zero. There's never any like 442 points or anything like that. But what? so it's weird. Okay, never. Uh, Charmander, he's in the middle of evolving right there, so that's gotta be a good one. Yeah, he's small, you but close. really, that's it. You could have had a better. Nah. There's actually a really good way to get a nice Charmander shot, which I'm going to do in the next run of this. So just stick with it with what I got. Moltres screeching in midair. Very good. The pose should be, oh, what a wonderful pose. Yep, the Ember uh, attack, I believe that is, or something like that, gets me 1,350 points, which is ridiculous. Get a times two uh, technique there because Moltres is in the middle of the frame. Great, great point score. That makes me happy. Wow. There we go, Fighting Magmar. See, that is the uh, specialty shot for the two of them. That initially gives me an 800 point value, right off the hop. Ah, so, so, size, whatever. It's un- you're unstable. Oh my god. Uh, technique, times two, better be. Yup, probably the best uh, points I'm ever gonna get for Magmar. So, and plus there's another one in there as well. 120. Why did like the one give me like 500 something points, but this one gives me 120? It, your point what? system doesn't make any sense, Oak. I know I've said it before, but even still. Okay, this is the one I'm really curious about because Charmander is completely like off frame, but I wonder what he's going to say. It's a great size, awesome pose. It's roaring. That's great. Oh my god, this is gonna be a great shot. I'm not gonna need any more Charmeleon pictures. No, I'm not. What? Uh, whatever. Move on. And of course, my Charizard. Let's see how we got here. 780 points. Good pose because what a flame. I don't know what that means, but he's using flamethrower. And the technique right in the middle. Times two. Wonderful. That was a good pointage. Let's see. We go from 60,000, 180, and 19 kinds to 
Damn! 84,790 points and 26 kinds of Pokemon shot. Holy crap, we're doing very good for ourselves. Very happy with the way things are going. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. You're doing a fine job, Metal Blah. Choose... Go to course. I know that was Oak's voice, but whatever. So, from here, he is able to open up yeah. the river. You simply open that up by completing the volcano course. Um, as obviously, these things are just going to keep opening up in order, so you got to do something special in order to open up the next course after the river. But we're going to go back into Volcano, and I'm going to try my best in order to get enough points in order to get the special item that, at the end of it, you need a specific amount of points for. I forget how many, but we'll see what we do. Soon as I begin this, I am actually going to launch an apple. Uh, uh, oh yeah, gotcha! Do it again, do it again! No, 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 no! I got two more rapid die! No, I got two other ones that came up that way. Uh, if you throw an apple, you can get rapid dash to rear back and nay, and that's actually like uh, one of the specialty things. It's, it actually, Oak actually says, ooh, it's neighing, and he gives you like 1,200 points or something like that. Hopefully that worked. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I still like my other picture of Rapidash so much better. But I'm going to throw an apple right in the middle of here, and we're going to run over... Oh, oh man, I thought I was going to run over some uh, Vulpixes. Just a way to stop the car for no other reason. Ah, hit him! Ah, oh, little thing, I don't care. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have Magmar and the Charmeleon back there. I'm gonna kind of just drive past the two of them. Uh, again, my Magmar shot. That's probably the best points I'm going to get from it. And once I go up and over this little ledge here, I can actually get a really nice picture of Charmeleon. But just for, just for giggles, we're gonna have the two of them fight each other. I think it's funny. Burn! Burn him! But he stole your apple, you jerk! Come on! There you go. Defend your territory. Now, we're actually going to use the Moltres Egg as a stopping point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start chucking apples over here. You're going to see char two Charmanders. And once you start chucking uh, apples, they're going to call for their buddies. And here comes all the Charmanders up and over the, uh, the ledge. Using the apples, you can then lead your horde of Charmander very, very close. Come on. And take a whole bunch of pictures of everybody jumping around being extremely excited. Yeah, char to you too. There you go. A few more. We just dance around. All right. Perfect. And into there. Can I get a better picture of Moltres? I mean, the other one was pretty good. It's just... Screech! I think that was pretty much on par with the save. Closer with that. There we go. But that was pretty much the reason I came back through this, so I can get that picture of uh, Charmander. And that's going to be worth quite a bit of points because, uh, you know, all those Charmander in this screen are going to give me a lot of bonus points. More regular water down here, by the way. So if you want to throw some apples in there, here comes a magic carp. Yeah. Again, I can't do anything with those, but let's get the best picture I possibly could of Charmeleon. So let's just kind of concentrate on knocking him into. Come on, you move. Uh, oh, you jerk. Come on, move. Get moving. Yeah. Shoot. And throw. Woof. Rise from the lava. Roar. All right, so uh, him doing the flamethrower is my best bet. So, God, he's like right next to me. Holy jeez. One more throw. Let's see what we can do. Oh, nope. Can't do anything else. Got a few extra pictures of him, but... Nothing, probably nothing that'll increase my score. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so let's deposit all of our pitches. And uh, I am telling you right now, it's not going to be the best, but at least I can put a name pitcher in there. There we go. This is the money shot. Yeah, they jump it. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> it's so random. Um, yeah, it's about the same on all of them. Yeah, we're going to use that one. Usually if they're doing something, like jumping or whatever like that, that's when you get Oki go, oh, they look happy. So it gives a few extra points. Uh, much closer Magmar. I don't think that's going to be anywhere near as good as they did before. Um, he looks like he's kind of smoking a fire cigar. So this is the one I'm going to choose. And I think that is it. My controller is just going crazy. If I push to the right, I don't really need any more Vulpix. If I push to the right too many times, then it just like wants to move to the right forever. Uh, rapid Dash. Let's see. Rapid Dash. I already have it. So let's compare. Yeah, I know. Size is nothing. 
Uh, and there you go. See, it's Nang. Look at that. Look at the point difference. If it was just closer, I would have. Oh man, it would have been an awesome point uh, uh, increase. But that's all right. It's. it's I'm, I'm very satisfied with what I have originally, anyway. So, yes, we're gonna keep the original one. And let's see how these Charmander work. So that's our original one, the crappy one of it dying. Are you serious? How did they get 50? They're right there. They're all right in front of me. Are you, what? What? Are you? I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to you. I really don't even know what to say to you right now. Holy crap! Really? That's what you're gonna do me? You have forsaken me, Oak. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Moving through. Moving through. The last one was much better. Hope you could do. I can't believe it. I seriously can't believe that that Charmander one was not it. Oh man. Yeah, my last Charizard one was also much better as well. I don't think I went up too much. I think I have to get 85,000. Oh man. All right, hold on Welcome one second. Back. Right, you take pictures. Good. Oh, actually, he is gonna give me a present right here. He gives me the Pester Ball. This thing will, when I throw it with B, will actually shoot out this like little smoke screen and you're able to stun Pokemon or get them to do other things. I like it better than the apple, yes. but uh, <laughs> you can actually use both things in conjunction with each other. So I'm gonna wait over here for when the two rapid dashes come this way. Hup. Okay, that was very good there. That was awesome. Very nice. I got one down there. Throw a pester ball. Throw a pester ball. Ah, I can't do anything with that. So yeah, if you throw the pester ball, it's like this little purple smoke cloud. And if you hit an enemy, well, if you hit a Pokemon, it's not really enemies. They just kind of flop over. Bye, Vulpix. Yeah. Where's the, where the two Vulpixes? Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Oh, dead Pokemon. Pokemon like that one. All right. Uh, let me move forward to where the Charmander are, and then I'm going to try to do that picture one more time. All right, guys, come on over. Let's go. Dance down towards me now. Let's go. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm actually going to concentrate on this. No, I'm not going to concentrate on that one right in front of me. I think that was the problem. All right, so we're going to wait until they're done eating that apple. And then they're going to look at me. Hi, right, you. Give me, give me somebody else. Give me somebody else. Char. Char. There we go. That's good. Am I... That should be a, a good shot, because they're like roaring, and they're pretty close, so I'm going to say that that is what I needed to do. And now I'm going to throw pestle balls, and I'm going to annoy the hell out of them. Oh, you're floating! They have the float ability! It's crazy! All right, Moltres is flying in the air. I'm going to throw a pestle ball at you, because I want to. <laughs> Dead. Oh, oh, okay. So now you saw those three lava tubes that were up and around the corner here, and I kept talking about you can't do anything with them. Well, now you can because you have the pester ball. There is a chance that one of two Pokemon will fall out of it if you throw enough of them in there. First one is Growlithe. If you want to take pictures of him while they're shaking off uh, the ember, got another Growlithe. And the problem is it's all chance, which really sucks, and I'm missing. I'm missing, I'm missing, and I got a third Growlithe anyway. Um, you want to know what the third one could be? I will show you once I redo this path again. And I'm just going to pick it up right here at the end. I'm going to little puppies. Little puppies. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go into uh, my pictures and actually see if I got anything good. See if those uh, Rapidash pictures in the beginning were actually like worth me taking. Alright, uh, yeah, we got two Rapidishes right here. I'm gonna use this one. Uh, the dead, okay. Give me a good Charmander. Give me a good Charmander. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna hope for the best. Is that is. Oh yeah, we got Growlithe. Again, just like with Moltres, you want to make sure that you take a picture of him shaking off his ember. I know I said that before, but... And we'll use the dead Vulpix because reasons. Yes! Alright. So we got the two Rapidashes right here. Let's see what we got. Size is like so-so, but we got the main pose, which really does increase the point value. We get in the middle, so times two, and we get another Rapidash in the picture. So look at that, much better frame, a uh, much better point structure, even though I like the first picture better, but you gotta save the good one because it gives you more points. We have a dead Vulpix right here. Let's see, I'm just kind of curious. 
that's actually a really close score, even if I got the 590 taken away from the original one, so... Loves the dead Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Size. So-so. Pose. Okay, much better. Nicely done. Technique. Right in the middle of the frame, times two. And look at how many points we get for the amount of Charmander in this photo. 1,500 points. Thank you, oh, well, for huh. finally judging my photos accurately. And we have our Growlithe, who has a nice pose, tons of ember, huge amount of points, good technique, wonderful. and it's a wonderful score. So now we go from 26 and that to, oh my god, it's crazy, awesome. But as I said, I'm going to go back into Volcano one more time. You don't have to watch it. We're just going to go back to those uh, lava tubes. So I'll meet you there. Yes. There's actually an item that you get a little bit later that moves the cart a lot faster forward. So I wish I kind of had that. Makes forgetting these pictures that you would normally find at the very end of uh, the levels a lot easier. But I got another stupid Growlithe. I got another stupid Growlithe. Come on! Dang it! Well, we're gonna have to redo that again. The stupid thing about these lava tubes is that it's all random. There's no guarantee you're going to get the Pokemon that you're looking for whenever you do this. Damn it, Growlithe! Come on! Damn it, Growlithe! Come on! I know you're random, but still, let's give me what I'm. Damn it, Growlithe! Oh. I don't know what number of time it is for you guys seeing this, depending on how I'm editing this, but this is like the sixth or seventh time I've done it. And it's so stupid because this thing is completely random. Like, there's no guarantee you're going to get the Pokemon that you need from this your first time through. And I finally got my Arcanine! Finally! Holy crap! That only took forever and a day. Let me guess, are they all Arcanine? Watch them all be Arcanine. That's another problem of mine, is the missing of the, the, the Fester Ball. Oh, it's a second one! Ah, oh, jeez, of course. Of course I get all the Arcanine now during that particular run. Uh, shut up, Hermione. Oh, he missed! Whatever, come on, go, go, go. The, the little thingy is right up there, so let's just roll up the mountain, and that be that. That is actually the last Pokemon in this area that I need to photograph, so I only need to come back to the Volcano one more time for something way at the end of the game, and I don't have to worry about it again. Kind of a reason why I'm like running through these multiple times for you guys right here, right now. Uh, just so I can get done as much stuff as I possibly can. I'm gonna use this one as my Arcanine pitcher. Let's go to Oak and have him evaluate that. Very good, let's see, it's an Arcanine! Size should be a good size. Nice, yeah. Pose, oh, so many embers, kind of like the Growlithe. Great technique for times two, and I wish I got more in the picture, but I don't really care. Let's add that together, and perfect. So then, in the next episode, we will head out to the next course, which happens to be the river. Uh, the first time I'm going to do it, I'll probably do it without the pester ball, and then I'll go through it with the pester ball. Because you got a bunch of different things that can happen, depending on if you already unlocked that item or not before entering the river. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 Until next time, everyone, you have a good one. And I will snap you all later.